Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Excuse me. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. I'll be right with you. Classified by Ambrosius as Ignis Fulman, and in the vulgar tongue, no, simply as Flamasimia, or fire monkeys. These creatures were renowned for their unquenchable appetite and phosphorescent bristles that covered their thick hides. Their ability to consume large objects was matched only by some serpents of the Orontes who were known to ingest cattle whole and sometimes humans as with the case of King Astralides, who is reported to have fed himself to his most beloved snake on the breaching of the city walls at the climax of the Dendrian siege. The giant snake, lovingly named Titus Miliaris, was said to have wept as it swallowed his master on command. When the philosopher Maxenius was asked where he would place the Flamasimia in his cosmic system, he replied, Their cousin to man, duplicitous, undiscerning in their appetite, devoted to their masters, yet devils to anyone else. Like other creatures attracted to riches, such as the piebald Pica Melanotus or the northern Fenorum, they were known to steal the objects of their attraction, and like thieves, they were routinely executed on the hills of Mount Perlia, chained to the rocks and left to the judgment of Helios. This savage custom came to an end under the wise counsel of Xenophany, who, in his edicts, ordered that a thief was to have his hands cut off and fed to the Flamasimia, who had been given a more exalted role in Xenophany's new campaigns. Trained as master thieves, they were sent into barbarous lands where they were taken in as good omens and stolen in the temples or shrines to please the gods. During the night, they would sniff out the valuables and consume them. When the loss was discovered, the animals were cursed as bad omens and banished outside of the city walls where they were sure to meet a quick dispatch by the godless beasts that roamed in hunger and rage. And a quick dispatch they got, 
though not as anticipated. The rescue party drawn to the glowing treasure like moths to a candle as the following night drew in would recover the animals and feed them an emetic to regurgitate the spoils. Beautiful ornaments, crowns, jewels, gold and precious stones that were all set to come out polished by the internal organs of these now near sacred animals. Plenitus gives a brief account in his Enconium Naturum, saying that when Gracchus Quintilius laid siege to Salandria, he is said to have lit his approach by ten thousand cage flammasimia. The assault was so successful that the animals were soon bred as light bearers for the whole of the Chaldean army, whose campaign stretched from Pannonia to the Caspian Sea. As Pictus Flavius quipped, only a cudgel could extinguish a Chaldean lamp 